Good morning. I am at my local fishery today. I am not doing anything fancy. I'm not going after lake trout. I didn't make a big long trip. It's Super Bowl Sunday. I had to work yesterday, so I didn't feel like going very far today. I have my jig rod and my sonar, and I'm just gonna go bounce around and see if I can find some crappie. That's the plan for today. Sarah's at home. She wants some nice fish for a fish chowder. I'm hoping to be able to get that done for her. So I'm gonna get unpacked. I'm gonna start walking. There are some shacks in the area set up already that I wanna fish. Two of them don't look like anybody's there yet. So hopefully I beat the crowd and can punch some holes and catch some fish before the rest of the town gets here. season and I just got one all right just got to where I want to start fishing I'm in about 13 14 foot of water this pond I don't remember if I said this or not is only 16 foot deep at the deepest I would really enjoy getting 10 to 12 crappie out of here today um, so that's my main target but there is a lot of yellow perch white perch pickerel smallmouth and largemouth so you never know what you're gonna catch and they do stock it with brook trout but they probably won't be out in these in these depths my plan I'm gonna start here 12 to 13 I got a 15 foot hole right out in front of me here I'm just gonna drill two holes so I can set one in my deucer one for my jig rod I'm just gonna make a line out to that 15 foot depth I'm gonna come back start scooping them out and just jig my way through and try to find active fish hopefully the crappie are out in this deeper part of the water it's February 2nd today I would assume by this point in the winter, they have pushed out to deeper and either are suspending out in the deeper water or in the bottom, depending on the pressure. So it's gonna be a little bit windy today, but let's drill some holes. Changed my mind. I'm gonna fish these holes first. <laughs> I always do that. I say, I'm going to get here and grid and do a bunch of holes, and then I get there and I drill one hole. I'm like, okay, i got to start fishing. So I'm just going to fish it real quick, see if anything's down there. This this doesn't come with a stopper, so I just use a clothesline as my, my stopper. And I grab another one, and I'll pin the other one to, like, the side here. I'll clip it in somehow. So as I grab and move, it all just kind of stays there. Another thing I'm gonna try this year that I've never tried in the past is, uh, is gonna be scents. This is uh, Liquid Mayhem. It was recommended to me from a guy on the main fishing site. I usually use cut bait and uh, I'll be honest, I'm sick of dealing with cut bait. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's still on my jig or not. So this is uh, minnow and garlic. They said put it like on all the little crevices of your swivels and all that stuff. Strong, that's for sure. I'm just gonna fish this hole for 10, 15 minutes and then, like I said, I'll progress through all throughout in here. I'll go shallower if I have to. I'm in 16, that's about as deep as I'm gonna get. So I will be bouncing around, but I'm just gonna fish this for a little while, see if I can't bring any fish in. Thought I hit record, but I guess not. <laughs> Just caught the first one. Little yellow perch. Not taking him home. But there's a little school down there of them right now. So if I can get back down there, I hit the record button when they marked, but they uh, must not have hit it good enough for it to turn it on. <laughs> Holy cow. He's not big enough to keep, but it's a crappie. Little teeny black crappie. My first one ever through the ice. That was sweet. He's too little to keep, unfortunately, but they're down here. That's awesome. 
the thing you'll notice with panfish, <clears throat> there's kind of two methods you could do fishing for panfish. You could drill some holes and sit on them and wait for those schools to move in and out. Or uh, you could drill a bunch of holes, swish cheese to the lake, and just bounce around and catch those active fish. Those are the two methods that you see mostly done. Cold, miserable days, guys will just camp on a good spot that holds fish, generally. Today I'm probably going to bounce around a little bit, but I'm in the water depth I want to be at, which is good. I switch back and forth between the 2D and flasher on this. This is a Garmin Striker 4, I believe it's called. Ice fishing setup, but you can use it on <clears throat> just about anything. I wish that I could split screen my 2D, which is your regular sonar, and my flasher, but I can't on this unit. That's the one thing I don't love about it, but everything else I really, really like about it. There we go, got him. Boys, bite is, I hope it's just a little yellow perch. Bite is almost not even registering. Nice little yellow perch. <clears throat> okay, okay, I'm having fun, this is fun. There we go, got him. White perch. Boys, almost. I could almost eat that one. This is this is a blast. This is actually a really good fish down on bottom right now. I don't know what it is. Or multiple fish. Yeah, there's two fish down there. Another one. Small. <laughs> Oop, nope. Crappie. Man, I don't know. Just a little bit too small, I think. See one coming up to my lure right now. Got him. <laughs> this is too much fun, guys. He's head bobbing pretty good. Another crappie. Another little, little black crappie. More down there. This is literally a blast right now. I chose black with a, a lime green belly just for the reason that this lake's very very dingy <clears throat> darker colors stand out much better in uh, in your murkier waters these are just little trout magnet soft plastics here in, in Bangor area we don't have a, a huge selection of crappie jigs but these trout magic jigs which I've never used for a trout themselves seem to be working pretty good. There's one. Very, very little. <laughs> yeah. That's what I had a feeling I was messing with right there. Little tiny, teeny tiny little babies. Let me know what you guys think of the camera angles too. I, I like when I'm watching YouTube videos and they got a, a camera on the flasher. I think it's pretty cool to actually see the see the bites and see what the fish are doing especially for guys that don't may have never seen this type of stuff before you know the flasher game or the or anything actually hold on let me try to catch this fish <laughs> all right i'm gonna try something i have never caught a fish on before but is an absolute staple a little rappel or rip and wrap or a little rappel uh i can't even remember what they're called now i'm gonna call it a rip and wrap but i don't believe that's what it actually is It's a better fish. Not sure what it is, but it feels better. Oh, crappie. <laughs> Thanks. Another little black crappie. Almost eat them. Almost, man. They're so close to being eatable. Oh, crap. That was me hitting the ice like an idiot. better fish right there much better fish I actually don't know what this is gonna be pickerel or a bass maybe if it's a crappie it's coming home oh nice large mouth 
nice largemouth bass right there. A little rip and wrap up high at like 12 foot of water just to get fish kind of active and coming in and then I'm finessing them with this little trout magnet. But that there is a uh, nice two pounder. Pretty good for this little pond. Gonna be a crappie, I bet. Yep. It's a crappie. Nice crappie. Oop, I got another one coming up on this. Oh shoot. But almost always so far, when I'm catching a crappie, it's it's uh it's an upbite. Sorry, I'm just like super distracted with how many fish are on here right now. Oh, oh. All right, we got crappies on here. Perch. Fish on there. This doesn't feel bad. Crappy. catch everything <sighs> little taps man get him in the water here for a second there's another one doubled up <laughs> Just doubled up on crappie. That was fun. Had a mess of them come in on the screen and just, I couldn't stop fishing, so. Nailed them. There's a fish. Oh, well, that's a decent yellow perch. The best yellow perch I've caught today. Decent little yellow perch. Best, best one of that species today. all over this thing. There we go. That's a decent fish. Ah, another jumbo yellow. Another pretty good little yellow perch. You could almost eat that one. Our perch here in Maine in a lot of places have uh, those little white worms and their meat, so I've never been able to eat them. Oh, we got one. I'm trying to keep a bait in the water at all times. This is a pretty good fish, whatever it is. Oh, crappie, nice. Little teeny black crappie. Crappie, I bet. Yep. Crappie, up bites, man. Get it right at the head. Those crappie, a lot of times, 
instead of hitting sideways or hitting down, they just kind of pick up on your, your bait and all of a sudden you just kind of have weight there. Black crappie do that a lot more than other panfish from what I've noticed so far. Here comes one racing up to it. Got him. perch <laughs> if at any point you guys have any questions about what we're using what we're doing uh, gear wise techniques wise definitely ask this is midwinter midwinter you're gonna want to look um, crop usually will push back out into their into basins um, which is like I said this is only a uh, this is only a uh, 16 foot pond anyway. So we are in their deep hole. It is 10 o'clock. Been fishing for three and a half, four hours. This has been a pretty good hole. I'm going to uh, Well, I was gonna move. <laughs> but I don't know now. Ooh, nice crappie. There we go. You could actually probably eat this one. If I start getting more of that size, I might start keeping them. I hate to keep one fish right now. I was just talking about moving, but maybe I won't. <laughs> Another thing, I, I know I mentioned it earlier, but now that you guys are a little bit closer, make sure you're not, you remember to slide that back. It makes a difference between if your presentation's like this or like this. And some days it can be a difference. This they won't touch, but this they will. Today's that, that's kind of been the trick. I think what I'm gonna do right now is, uh, I think I'm gonna shut the cameras off. I am going to just fun fish from here on out. I think I've caught enough fish and talked enough for you guys. You're probably annoyed and over it by now. So, and then uh, when I get back to the truck and or back to the house, I will kind of uh, let you guys know what I was catching and um, check back in and give you an update on how the rest of the day went. Well, I have a surprise visitor. Yay! Then, like it. Yeah, show, uh, let's show off our, our little baby. Here she is. This is Bo. She's pretty good. That one barks a lot. Arrow. He sees another dog. Hey. Uh -huh. Leave it. Come on. Bubba. What are you doing, Bubba? What are you doing? Look at that one girl. Little Bo. We got Bo. And Arrow now. We got the whole, the whole set, the whole rigmarole. We did it. We did it. <laughs> you're cute. You're cute. You're cute. You're cute. Well, I am back at home. Very obviously, I'm in a garage, not on the lake anymore. I wanted to get to that lake today and uh, put the electronics to work and use a jig rod, and it turned out way better than I thought it was going to as far as the fish number. So now that I'm home, that lake usually, or pond, I should call it, gets pretty busy as the day goes on. So I wanted to make sure I was out there in the morning, had some decent time with some decent audio, because usually there's augers and four-wheelers and side-by-sides and sleds and vehicles just ripping around the pond. So, and that's exactly what happened. Anyway, let's talk gear. The two biggest lures, it's the lures, lures, said that weird. A rappel, I think I was calling this a rip and wrap earlier or something like that, but it's just a, um, jig and wrap. I used it so much today, in fact, that I broke the, uh, the back fins. There's supposed to be two plastic, plastic fins off of that that help it kind of dart. I think any sort of a darting, which is what this is, you jig it, it goes off a weird direction, comes down a weird direction. I was using that. I was in 16 foot of water. I was using this in about 10 to 12 foot of water and just ripping it kind of hard to bring fish off the of bottom and get them interested. If they did not bite that, I was using this right on bottom pretty much, maybe a foot off at most. This is just a little 
uh, trout magnet. It came in a, a pack of a bunch of different colors. This little head was in there too. What I don't like about it, it's super light, really hard to feel while you're jigging to see if you have anything on there. I've used them on tungsten weights before, which I like better, but the tungsten weights were a little bit bigger. And I was having issues with fish not committing and biting them last time I was doing that. So I downsized to this and did really well. Caught that two, two and a half pound bass on this little thing. So it worked really good. Pink seemed to be the hot color. I know I watched a YouTube video, guy said pink for crappie. I can now attest to that. They really liked this. And last, the thing that probably worked the best, well not last, I guess, but my first time ever using this product, Liquid Mayhem. I don't know if it was the day, if I would have not used it and still caught the amount of fish or not, but my first time ever using a scent versus cut bait, and this stuff worked awesome. Like I said, I caught a pile of fish today. And this is a minnow garlic flavor. But the number one tool for today, there was a group that showed up about an hour after I set up. And there was like seven people and we can put five lines in this body of water. So if they had all five lines and you can do the math, that was a lot of tip ups in the ice. In six hours of fishing, I saw them have one flag. I'm not saying that tip ups don't have their place. I love tip ups. It's how I used to only fish really is with tip ups. But now that I have this, a decent sonar system to actually go around and find fish, um, it just completely changed the game for me today. This is a Garmin. Let me look it up because first here before I just go spatting off numbers. Garmin Striker 4 portable kit. This thing is awesome. It's probably not the best sonar you can get on the market, but for somebody that's never had one before, it's incredible. It comes with the unit itself, battery, uh, the case, uh, transducer. The only thing that's kind of odd about this transducer is, which is kind of cool at the same time, is it comes with a transducer like this with a big old suction cup. You can actually attach that to your boat and you can use it on kayaks, canoes, all that kind of stuff. I use it for ice fishing. You can adjust your arc of your transducer. So if you get this and you're having trouble seeing your bait or whatever, make sure that this is laying as flat as possible to your bottom of your, of your water, because the more off that is the, it's going to throw your bait off and you're not going to be able to see your bait. It's going to throw that cone off in a weird direction. So, um, just make sure you got that at a decent angle and you can use it 365 days a year on your boat and ice fishing. You can get a different transducer just for ice fishing if you wanted to. Um, but for $180 on Amazon, uh, to get your feet wet in the whole sonar game, I'm telling you, I can't recommend this unit enough. So that's all she wrote, guys. I don't know where we're fishing next. Hopefully Jordan and I and Dan and all of us can get together and do some fishing this year. I don't know what the rest of the winter is going to look like. Like I said, I am going to be working a lot this winter on Saturday. So I think I'm going to have to stay somewhat around town to fish, um, just make little day trips. But I hope you guys liked today's video. Again, if you have any questions about gear, fishing techniques, anything like that, let us know down below. If you have any tips for us, again, we're not professionals at this by any means. So if you have any tips on what we could do to improve our fishing, let us know down below in the comments and uh, we will respond. We try to respond to everybody in a pretty quick fashion. So again, guys, thanks for watching. The support has been awesome. Again, just from hunting season to now, we appreciate all of you that watch. We appreciate appreciate all of you that have subscribed to our channel. We're going to keep uh, doing our thing and putting out good content and uh, hopefully teach you something. So again, guys, thanks for watching. We will see you on the next one.